Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we're going to take a look at a quadratic inequality that's an application of the height of a projectile after t seconds. So we're told a projectile is fired from a roof of a building 27 feet tall with an initial velocity of 64 feet per second. For what length of time is the projectile at least 75 feet above the ground? We have an equation for the height of the projectile s after t seconds, and that's s equals negative 16 t squared plus v sub zero times t, that's your initial velocity times the time, plus s sub zero, which is the starting height. Now here, we know the starting height is 27. That's the height of the building. And the initial velocity, we're told, is 64 feet per second. That's v sub zero. So our expression for the height is negative 16 t squared plus 64 t plus 27. And what we want to know is when is this at least 75 feet above the ground? At least 75 means 75 or more. So we want to know when is this greater than or equal to 75 feet. So our inequality is negative 16 t squared plus 64 t plus 27 greater than or equal to 75. Now, when we were doing these to find when is it exactly 75 feet tall, we would subtract 75 over to the left-hand side. Let's do that. Let's collect all the uh, terms on the left-hand side by subtracting 75 from both sides. We've got negative 16 t squared plus 64 t minus 48 greater than or equal to zero. Now, we could try to go to the quadratic formula at this point, however, we should look for common factors. And something that's important to know about the negative 16, the factors of 16 are two, four, eight, or 16. What we're hoping for is that we can divide 16 out of everything. If 16 doesn't work, then try eight. If eight doesn't work, try four. If four doesn't work, try two. Um, if none of those work, at the very least, you should factor out a negative one. But here, 16 divides into 64 and, neg and 48. So I'm going to factor out a negative 16 first. And I get negative 16 times t squared minus 4t plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. At this point, I can factor that quadratic expression to be negative 16 times t minus 1 times t minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, I can divide both sides by negative 16 if I want to, but remember to get rid of that. But if I do that, remember I have to change that greater than or equal to sign to a less than or equal to sign. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to show you I'm going to handle that in my sign chart. The critical values are t equals 1 and t equals 3. So on a number line, and by the way, it really should start at zero because we can't have negative time. One, two, three, four. Um, one and three break this into um, three intervals. I'm going to use test points of zero, two, and four. So again, zero, two, and four. My three factors are negative 16, t minus one, and t minus three. And I'm looking for this expression, this product to be greater than or equal to zero. And that means that I'm looking for positive solutions, right? What kind of numbers are greater than zero? Positive numbers are, All right? Negative 16 as a factor is always going to be negative. So in that first column, no matter what t is, that first factor is always negative. So I've written that down. Uh, now for 0, 0 minus 1 is negative. 0 minus 3 is negative. The product of three negatives is negative. That means that 0 is not a solution. Let's try 2. 
2 minus 1 is positive 1, so that's positive. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, that's negative. And I've got a product of two negative numbers with a positive number. That product is positive. That's what we wanted. That means that 2 is a solution. And I'm going to shade the interval where the 2 came from. If I substitute 4 in, 4 minus 1 is positive 3. 4 minus 3 is positive 1. I've got the product of a negative number and two positive numbers. That's negative, not what I wanted. So 4 is not a solution either. All the solutions are between 1 and 3. Because I had the greater than or equal to sign, that means the endpoints are included. So the interval notation here would be 1, 3 in brackets. And in words, that's from 1 second to 3 seconds. All right. If we had divided through by negative 16, this column would have been gone. But this sign would have been less than or equal to 0. And if we multiplied just the two factors, all those signs would have switched. It would have been positive, negative, positive. Uh, we would have been looking for negative. It still would have been the middle interval. All right. That's an application of a quadratic inequality. We'll see you in the next video.